chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again in the previous lecture we learnt how we can use the concept of symmetrical and alternating functions to factorize a simple example we learnt an example of that use now in this lecture we will put our knowledge to use and see how we can use the concept of symmetrical and alternating functions to factorize very complex expressions we shall take some solved examples and this is our first example which says factorize x plus y plus z whole cube minus x cube minus y cube minus z cube so we have to factorize this first of all we observe that we observe that this is a homogeneous this is a homogeneous expression expression of degree 3 so we observe that all the terms are of degree 3 this is also cubed these are linear cubed degree 3 3 3 and 3 and we also observe that this is a symmetrical function because if we change interchange x and y the result remains the same we can observe it that if we write y in place of x this will become y plus x this will become minus y cube minus x cube the result would be that the value of the expression remains unchanged so at the outset we can write that that it is a symmetrical expression so this is one thing that we have observed this is second thing we observed now we have written these two basic observations at the top because an expression will either be alternating or symmetrical if it is symmetrical or alternating then we can use most of the concepts related to the symmetrical and alternating functions so it is either symmetrical or alternating so in this case it is symmetrical now this is one observation we have written here the second observation we wrote was that this is a homogeneous expression we should write both the observations at the top so one observation should be if it is homogeneous you should write that it is homogeneous and if it is symmetrical or alternating write it either way so these two observations whether they are positive or negative should be written at the top now now since we have written them at the top we'll keep them in mind add as we factorize it so we should now take use of the factor theorem like we we will now see this expression from the perspective of an expression in x so observe the given expression the given expression from the perspective of a function in x only so we can write for that f of x is equal to x plus y plus z whole cube minus x cube minus y cube minus z cube we'll see that we'll see it from the angle that this function this expression is a function of x only so we have written fx equal to x plus y plus z whole cube minus x cube minus y cube minus z cube newcomers might find it difficult to understand how x plus y plus z which is a expression in three variables can be seen from the perspective of just one of the variables but it is fairly common in algebra to see it from the perspective of one of the variables so take another example 
if the given expression is 3xyz then we can look it from the perspective of x only by writing it as a function of x is equal to 3xyz. In that case we temporarily assume that y and z are some constants like a and b or whatever we just simply take it as a function that is dependent on the value of x only. So this is one thing that we always need to do now. Next let us see. Next we observe that if we put if we put x equal to minus y then this expression becomes f at minus y is equal to this x will be put as minus y plus y plus z whole cube minus now this is x cube it will be put as minus y whole cube minus y cube minus z cube. So basically we have put this x as minus y here y and z this x as minus y y and z. The purpose will become clear in a short while why I am doing this. Now let us first of all evaluate the value of this expression. This minus y and this y will cancel out so I will get z cube here and this minus y whole cube will become minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 3 times so that will become minus 1 into y cube and this is minus y cube minus z cube this I brought this I brought so I'll write it as this z cube comes as such this becomes plus y cube and these minus y cube and minus z cube they all now they all cancel it cancel out this one cancels this one cancels so I get 0. This means that this function has a value of 0 at x is equal to minus y. So by factor theorem if f a is 0 then x minus a is a factor. So this we know from factor theorem. Now let us draw a parallel here. We see that f of minus y is equal to 0. So therefore what we get x minus minus y is a factor minus a this minus a is now a is what minus y so minus of minus y is a factor which implies x plus y is a factor. So this is what is our first conclusion. If you are not clear so far let me just revise it so that in case you are missing something. So we started by writing the few observations that this is a homogeneous expression this is a symmetrical expression we haven't used any of these observations so far but we have listed them at the top if required we'll make use of them. Then we observed the given expression from the perspective of a function in x only and wrote it as fx equal to this. Then we decided to we just observed that if x is put as minus y then f of minus y turns out to be ultimately 0. And then we wrote our factor theorem if f a is 0 then x minus a is a factor. Therefore x minus minus y is a factor which implies x plus y is a factor of what? Of this expression. Now, now we'll note this thing I'll erase the board and then we'll uh, move on to on a clean board. So we have concluded by seeing this from the perspective of x that x plus y is a factor. So this is one thing that we have right now as a result of factor theorem. Now similarly, similarly by seeing from the perspective of from the perspective of y from the perspective of y if we see this whole thing from the perspective of y 
we can similarly conclude that that y plus z is a factor. So x plus y, the next letter was y, so is a factor and next letter is z, so y plus z is a factor. And likewise, likewise, by seeing it from the, from uh, z perspective, from z per per perspective, z plus x is also a factor. So we can immediately conclude by applying the symmetry that y plus z and z plus x will also be factors. This expression is entirely symmetrical. If x plus y is a factor, then y plus z also will be a factor and z plus x will also be a factor. So we can say that the end result will be of the form some constant, possibly some constant value into x plus y into y plus z into z plus x. So this is what we conclude that these three are factors. So this given expression which I can write it here. That is this given expression is equal to the product of these three factors and multiplied by a constant. Now why I am saying constant? First of all, the degree of the right side is 3, homogeneous expression and if we see this, this and this, they 3 multiplied together, they give us an expression of degree 3. 1 for this, 1 for this and 1 for this. So in case of symmetrical functions and expressions, we saw that the degree of the factored product will have to remain same as the degree of the given expression. This means there is no other possibility of anything else that contains x, y or z because if you have any other thing that includes x, y or z, the whole degree on this left side would become 4. So we can reason out that only possibility is some constant being available on this side and this whole thing will be equal to the expression on the right side. Now the last step is to find the value of k. This trick is as we saw in that last lecture part 6 that we can give any three values to x, y and z and calculate out k. So we'll take simplest values x equal to 0, y equal to plus 1, and z equal to minus 1. This will keep our calculations short. So put this and we get k into 0 plus 1 into 1 plus minus 1. I think this value won't work because it will make the whole thing 0. So we won't be able to get k. So we'll have to put z also as plus 1 so that things don't cancel out. So I'll write it as plus 1 y plus 1 plus 1 because if I had put it minus 1 it would have made it 0 and k would also have gone. Now we'll put 1 plus 0 x is 0 z is 1 which is equal to 0 plus 1 plus 1 cube minus 0 cube minus 1 cube minus 1 cube which implies k into 1 this is 1, this is 2, this is 1, which is equal to, this is 2 cube, 8, minus 0, minus 1, minus 1, which is equal to 6. So, which implies, this is 2k is equal to 6, which implies k is equal to 3. So, therefore, the required factors are, 3 into x plus y into y plus z into z plus x. I took a long time to solve because I was explaining but if somebody were to do it orally then it would be a no more than a 30 second game. Not even 30 seconds. Let us now move on to our next exercise, next example.